The United States is one of the richest countries in the world. We're also one of the unhealthiest. 42% of the entire population is obese. And about 20% of kids are obese. And it's no secret why. We're eating junk. But it's not all our fault. We've been lied to for decades about what's healthy and what isn't. Our nutrition guidelines are upside down. You know Lucky Charms aren't healthier than beef. But that's not what the food pyramid says. And this isn't an isolated study. There are thousands just like this. Junk science bought and paid for by big food. Processed food companies contribute, you ready? 11 times more money to nutritional research than the NIH does. And wouldn't you have guessed it? The studies all say processed foods aren't that bad for you. But big food isn't just buying the science. They're influencing public opinion. Coca-Cola has been accused by industry insiders of paying the NAACP and think tanks to help kill soda taxes. Basically, if you support a soda tax, you're racist and you hate poor people. Companies like Coke and Pepsi and other soft drink conglomerates are also big donors to anti-hunger groups who in turn lobby the feds to keep sugary drinks covered by food stamps. But it's not just think tanks and elite research universities. Doctors are cashing in on Big Pharma's generosity. Instead of advocating for lifestyle changes like diet and exercise, the American Academy of Pediatrics is recommending every obese person over age 12 to take an injectable weight loss drug that they have to be on for life. Of course they do. And you also have doctors saying stuff like this. If you diet, you lose weight, right? The number one cause of obesity is genetics. That means if you are born to parents that have obesity, you have a 50 to 85% likelihood of having the disease yourself, even with optimal diet, exercise, sleep management, stress management. So when people see families that have obesity, the assumption is, ah, what are they feeding those kids? So willpower, throw that out the window. So much propaganda on 60 Minutes. That lady took more than 15 grand from the pharmaceutical company Novo Nordisk last year alone, 2021. Novo Nordisk makes the miracle anti-obesity drug Ozempic. And I'll let you draw your own conclusions. My next guest used to work for the Coca-Cola company, and he says he saw firsthand how the food and pharma industries rigged the system to their advantage. Kaylee Means is now the founder of True Med and joins me now. But before we get started, we just reached out to Coca-Cola a little while ago for comment, and we haven't heard back. So what do you have to tell us about what's going on inside Coca-Cola? Well, first, Jesse, God bless you for paying attention and, and drawing attention to the most important issue in the world, which is that we're getting sicker, fatter, more depressed, more infertile because of food. Eight of the 10 leading causes of Americans today are directly tied to food, reversible by food. Uh, but we really are gaslighted from that fact, and it's because of a rigged system. And three uh, particular levels I saw is that food companies directly pay medical groups. Uh, Coke has funneled millions of dollars, and the American Academy of Diabetes, the American Academy of Pediatrics, as you said, the American Nutrition Association, they've accepted millions of dollars from Coke. And what does that buy? When we have diabetes water, sugar consumption going up among children 100x in 100 years, we have silence from the American Diabetes Association on sugary drinks when 25% of teenagers now are pre-diabetic. They're also, as you've very aptly pointed out research institutions. And what does that get? What is that 11 times more from food than the NIH? What does that get? It gets the doctors on the USDA nutrition guidelines. Right now, shamefully, and I believe this is the most shameful, violent policy in America, the USDA, our own government, says that a two-year-old, it's okay for them to have 10% of their diet as added sugar. That should be zero. This is a drug causing absolute devastation. And as you alluded to as well, uh, the, uh, the last tier I'll mention is the media. And 60 Minutes during that shameful uh, piece saying that an issue only in the past 50 years is genetic, uh, before and after that piece with Dr. Fatima Stanford, uh, uh, pharma ads ran, uh, uh, and, and food, food ads. Food is one of the largest advertisers on children's networks. And now with social media, food companies are funneling millions of dollars for body influential, uh, body positive uh, influencers to say that weighing a patient at the doctor's office is racist, and to systematically say, uh, even talking about weight uh, is racist, which is which is just shameful. Because we big have a sugar, crisis. Is Big Sugar also paying Victoria's Secret? Because now all those models are humongous. Is that also part of it? Like the marketing campaigns well, about it's it's okay to be and gorgeous to be obese. 
It's a systematic rigging of the institutions of trust. I mean, this is not complicated. And earlier in my career, I saw this. You know, unimpressive PR executives sit around conference rooms and ask, how do we rig? How do we gaslight people, you know, in, or in an Orwellian way from, from, from not believing what's right in front of us? 80% of American adults are overweight or obese. 50% of adults have prediabetes or diabetes. We are being brought to our knees by preventable metabolic dysfunction. I, I think the real issue here, Jesse, as you alluded to, is, is pharma is standing silent. And the medical institutions are standing silent because they profit from people being sick and they're getting sick because of food. Wow. The unhealthier we are, the richer they get. This is not, not a good system. We got to change it. Thank you very much for speaking out. We really appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.